Yo, hello everyone, and welcome back to a brand new video. Digital creators. Today, we are inserting your remarkable creations are securely backupped. Stick around for a quick tutorial on connecting Remarkable to Dropbox in 2024. Let's make sure your artistic endeavors are stored with care. So, let's get started. So before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. So guys, for this specific video, I will need from you to have Remarkable. Of course, Remarkable is not only an app. Remarkable is basically a device, which obviously you have to buy to use it. So for those who think that this is just an app that normally you will just download it or something like that or buy it and download it on your PC, no, this is not the case. Remarkable is basically a tablet that will allow you to note things with a pen, which is basically all with a touchpad that comes with it and everything. These are the example of it. For this video, I am going to show you how you can actually store everything you have on your remarkable pad or tablet on Dropbox. As you can see here on this area or on this widget, they have already mentioned that you can get the access and synchronization and you can store files with cloud storage services such as Google Drive, Microsoft OneDrive and Dropbox. So let's continue with this video. Now what you'll have to do is obviously connect your account. Now you can't connect from here but what you have to do is to click on this menu right here and click on login to log into your account. After you do so you will be redirected to this link which is basically myremarkable.com and you will be connected. After you do so, um, for me I have my account already connected so I don't have to do it again. Here you will find three options. Applications which are basically remarkable apps that you can download on your mobile or desktop app. There is also cloud storage which are basically what are we looking for. There is these integrations of Dropbox, Google Drive and Microsoft OneDrive. And there is other extensions that can read on Remarkable such as Google Chrome, Word, uh, Microsoft Word and Microsoft PowerPoint. For us we are going to go with integrations. There we go. And then we have to go with Dropbox right here. Click on Add and simply you will be redirected to Dropbox. Continue with your account. There we go. And now you will be ready to go. So just give them this uh, access. They will have the access to edit contents of your Dropbox files and folders and view contents of your Dropbox files and folders and view basic information about your Dropbox account such as your username, email and country. Click here to allow the access and it will be now ready to go. As you can see here name your service so we have to give a name to the servers if you want to you can give it a name for example work to easily tell the difference between the services you have connected so here let's just name it for example remarkable notes oh all right remark notes and let's click here to save it and here we go so now we have our Dropbox account successfully connected with the actual Remarkable account. There is another way to actually do so, which is by using a third app party, which is called Zapier. Zapier can allow you to actually do a lot of connections. For example, there is um, here after we connect, we can go here to apps and after we click on apps, will find right here search per app you will find uh, for example Google Drive so we have to click on Google Drive connect to our account to Google Drive and do the same thing with your remarkable account so you have to connect to both accounts after you do so simply click here to create a zap which is an automation between the two apps so it will be the first a trigger and then another action that will be the consequence of the trigger so here, as you can see, we have to write something. Here, I will simply just say, synchronize my Remarkable account 
with my Dropbox account for example since we are interested with Dropbox so there we go and here we simply have to wait and as you can see synchronize and remarkable with Dropbox project status changed upload file to drop file or Dropbox I like it let's try it so the trigger first is of course remarkable that is the first thing that will appear because what is the trigger basically the first action that will happen and for us the first action is us making the notes and saving it so this is exactly what you want saving the notes on our remarkable uh, tablets and then it will be sent to uh, Dropbox and be uploaded as a document so here what you want what I will want you to do is to simply connect to both accounts on Dropbox and your remarkable account and then once you finish simply click here to publish and everything will be good to go so yeah guys that was basically it for today's video it was pretty easy pretty simple and straightforward thank you guys a lot for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial